Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, we are gonna be talking about how to mount your new GoPro onto your car in as many ways as we can think of, starting with the interior and then moving to the exterior. You're going to need a camera car mount. Now, I'm going to link a bunch of my favorites down in the description below from a varying range, but I'm going to be showing you guys a new car mount that I absolutely trust with all of my cameras. And that's a huge deal, being able to trust mounting your cameras onto your car it's scary, like these things move pretty fast and if it falls off, it's gonna do damage to your car or someone else's car and most certainly your camera. So obviously you're going to need a GoPro, it doesn't really matter which model you get and you're gonna need a little guy like this that has a quarter thread so you can mount it to your camera car mount. Now I'm going to link a couple of them down in the description below but I'm going to be showing you in this video my personal favorite car mount. It's one that I absolutely trust with all of my cameras so let's get into it. Now hands down iFootage has created one of the absolute best camera car mounting rigs I have ever used. The intentional design is like nothing I have seen before. The quality of these materials is insane. It's more expensive but I actually trust this with all of my cameras on the inside and outside of my car. Um, it comes with these incredible arms and really intuitive design for users to kind of mount their cameras so you can mount this on any of your cameras and then plug it back in and it's just a really sturdy system. So this is what I'm gonna be using today and I'll link it down below. Okay guys, so for our first mount, we're getting as close as we can to POV without having to put the GoPro on our head or in our mouth or anything crazy like that. So we've just got this thing attached to the window and it's not interrupting any of our arm movements or anything like that and it's not in the way of my line of sight either and it will give you a decent picture of what it's like to drive this car. For our second setup, we are not doing anything complicated. We are shooting with the GoPro facing towards the driver in a wide field of view. Also, if you're curious about the audio quality of the GoPro, this is kind of what you'd get if you were shooting with just the GoPro Hero 10 audio only out of the camera with 4K 24 frames per second, if you're curious. If you wanna get the stick shift moving, there's a little bit more of a creative angle. We're just shooting straight down with the GoPro. For the next shot, we are just putting the GoPro on the opposite window, kind of getting the standard pointed towards the driver look. Another quick option, if you have a rear window, you can put it on the back window and you get a bit of a passenger view. For this one, you have to lean the seat way back to make that shot work, but it should do the trick. This is another one of my favorite options, is putting it on the back window in the middle so you can kind of get a rear forward driver's perspective. This one's really good for showing people the whole experience of the car. I want to change a setting on the GoPro, but I don't want to have to undo the whole mounting system. You just unlock this, push the tab, you can slide out your camera, change any of the settings that you want to change on it, and then when you're ready, you just slot it back in, wait till it clicks, lock it in, and it's good to go. Also, there's the difference between having the GoPro stabilization on and the GoPro stabilization off. Another fun way to capture the dashboard is to put one of the 3M GoPro mounts on the steering wheel column, and that will capture all of the content that's going on on your dashboard there. Okay, so obviously there is a ton of ways you can mount the GoPro to the interior of your vehicle, wherever there's glass or wherever that suction cup can go. You just gotta be creative with where you wanna mount this thing, but let's head outside the vehicle and start mounting it outside. Now when it comes to mounting any camera on the outside of a vehicle, I highly recommend having a clean car and then bring a microfiber cloth so any point you're gonna mount it on, just give it a quick clean, clean the suction cup as well just to make sure everything's clean and it'll stick a lot nicer. So another great feature about the iFootage is it comes with four suction cups. This is the smaller one that we were using for the interior and then when you get to the exterior, there's a bigger suction cup mount that you can use that actually kind of works its way around the curves and stuff of your car 
The BRZ is a pretty curvy car, so I'm using the bigger suction cup to make sure it's on there. And these things are on there real good. So here we've got our first exterior angle and we are just cutting the car in half and we are showing the driver and the view from behind as well. Now Denmark has a whole bunch of CPL filters you can get for your GoPros. If you put it over top of it and you screw this thing forwards or backwards, you can take some of the reflections out of the windshield. It also makes your skies look better. Um, this one actually only fits on my GoPro 8 and we're using the GoPro 10 right now, but you guys can check these out on Amazon. I'll link them down below also. So nothing crazy on this one. We're just up in the center of the roof, shooting down towards the hood, and we've changed the field of view to wide. Another great angle to see both the road and the passenger driving. Now I've got tinted windows for that reason. I've got my windows rolled down, but you guys can see here what kind of angle we can get with that. Here's another angle if you're looking to capture the driver from outside the window. For this one, we mounted the camera almost in the same spot and then just pointed it up towards the mirror at the driver. What's great about this position is then you can turn the GoPro forwards towards the front tires or backwards towards the rear tires and get those angles really quick. For this next angle, we are turning the traction control off. After reviewing the footage and seeing how the active stabilization on the GoPro impacts the composition, I personally feel like I would err on taking it off and letting the GoPro footage be a tiny bit shaky for the sake of composition. All right guys, so there you have it. There's a ton of ways you can mount your GoPro to your car. All you need is the right accessory, the right car mount, and you're off to the races, and again, with this car mount, I feel so confident and safe. And there is also a ton of affordable options. I will link them down below. I also have another video of mounting cameras to cars up here you can check out. And of course, if you guys want to see me mount my Canon R6 to this car using these car mounts, subscribe to the channel because that will be coming shortly. I've got car photography presets linked down below for you guys if you love taking photos of your cars. That's what I do and I've got presets built exactly for those purposes. So check them out down below. And otherwise, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. So there you have it. There is a ton of ways you can mount a GoPro to a camera. Camera. Ah. The driver, we are using the wild, wild, wild field of view. Wow. Say that fast 10 times. Holy smokes.